Hello and welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are going to see how to create this photo effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Before continuing I would like to thank you for being here and supporting me. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I highly recommend you to click on the subscribe button. Ok let's open up Premiere Pro. So these clips I have downloaded from mixkit.com and I have imported them into the timeline. Choose a point where you want the photo effect to take place and use the eraser tool and make a cut. You can also use the shortcut key Ctrl plus K and right click on the right side portion and choose add frame fold. Duplicate this layer to video track 2. Move this uh, duplicated clip to video track 3 and now go to the essential graphics panel and in the edit section click on this icon and choose rectangle. Move this rectangle to video track 2 that is between the two video clips. Now go to the essential graphics panel and select this rectangle that's shape 1 and increase its scale so that it fits the entire composition size. Now select the video clip in video track 3 and set the scale value to 50 around 50 or 55 percentage and the rotation to minus 10 degrees. Same way set the rotation for the rectangle to minus 10 degrees and reduce the scale value in the essential graphics panel like this like a frame around video clip in video track 3. Select the video clip at video track 3 and keyframe the scale property and the rotation property. Now select the graphics that's our rectangle and click on the stopwatch of scale and rotation. Now go to the start of the clip. And set the scale and rotation values to the default values. Now set the scale value to 100 and the rotation to 0 degrees. Same way to the rectangle, set the scale to 0 percentage at the start. And for the scale value, you have to choose a value that fits the size of the composition. Now let's preview how this looks like. Yeah, that's good. Now go to the effects panel and search for Gaussian blur effect. Apply the effect to the frame hold segment for the video clip 1 at, uh, at video track 1. Now in the effect console set the blurriness value to somewhere around 30 and make sure you click on repeat execute size. Now go to the lumetri panel and set the saturation value to 0 for the video clip in video track 1. Also you can adjust the uh, lumetri values as you wish, you can use any tones, sepia tones or what, whatever you want. I am creating a vignette for this whole segment. Ok that's fine. Turn on the visibility of video track 2 and 3 and let's see how this looks like. Yeah that's good but there has to be some flicker so that it looks like a photo effect. So go to the effects panel, under video transitions, under dissolve, choose dip to white and apply this transition. The effect console set the duration as low as possible so to somewhere around 10 or 12 frames. Yeah, that's looking good. So that's it. Hope you like this video. Hope you learned something. Once again, thanks for being here and supporting me. Thanks for watching and still subscribing. And this is Taurin signing off.